I got a little whoopsie on the side there. I think I fixed it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little lip swatch party for y'all today on the Rimmel Kate's Nude Collection. So I actually now have all 10 shades, so I'm gonna be able to run through all the different shades, show you swatches on my hand, show you some lip swatches, just kind of talk about the differences and point out my favorites and just do a little lip swatch party. So let's jump into it. Okay, this first one, number 40, is definitely the most concealery nude of the group. It is very light. I do like this one, but I like it layered with something else or with a lip liner because by itself, it's pretty scary, <laughs> at least on me. So there is number 40. This next one's definitely one of my very favorites. I've already worn it down quite a bit because I keep grabbing for this one. This is number 41, and this is a much pinker nude. So this is very like, I don't know, like Max Cream Cup or something where it's a very, very pinky nude. And honestly, even on my skin, it looks pretty stinking pink, but it is beautiful. I love this one. These do show a little bit of like dryness or fine lines, but I think it's less to do with the lipstick and more to do with just the nature of a nude lipstick in general. You know what I mean? Like the color more so than the formula because they're really comfortable. They're like the other Rimmel Kate lipsticks from the line. So if you like those, I think you'll really like these as well. So yeah, this is number 41, one of my favorites. Then number 42 is just a really nice classic sort of a nude. So it has a little bit of like a mauve brown undertone to it. I really like this one. If I'm just wanting to go for like a traditional nude lipstick, this is one that I would grab. That's a great thing about this line. They have a lot of different shades and depth of tones. So I think that most everyone can find a nude that would work for them. So this one for me personally is one of the best like typical nudes. Number 43 is more of kind of a warm tone nude. So a little bit more like yellowy orange undertones to it, which I know doesn't sound very appealing, but it's just a warmer nude. You can see that this one over here is more of a cool tone nude, where number 43 is more of that warm toned nude. Really pretty. Number 44 is kind of a deep peachy nude. So you can see how it differs from 43. So it's got a little bit more pink in it, a little bit more of like a terracotta tone, but just a really nice kind of deeper, slightly deeper, warm nude. Number 45 is also one of my favorites because it's kind of like a deeper, mauvier nude. Really beautiful. So you can see how it differs from number 41 over there. So that one's kind of a lighter, brighter pink nude, whereas this one is definitely more of that mauvey color. But still on the lips, like I feel like in the swatch it looks like a pinky mauve, but then on my lips it looks more like a nude, you know what I mean? So really, really pretty, but it's very cool toned. So if you're looking for a cool toned mauve pink nude, this would be a great option. Number 46 is another one of those warm tone nudes, but it's a little bit darker than these over here. So you can see we're getting into a little bit deeper tones now. So this one has just kind of like that, like terracotta, but also a little bit mustardy sort of a tone to it. Really pretty. And I feel like on my skin tone color, it sort of has a little bit of a, like an edgy vibe, like a 90s sort of edgy vibe to it, which I really like. Now we're getting even more into those deep nudes. This is number 47, and this is kind of like a reddish, it has like a warmth, like a reddish warmth to it. Really beautiful. So if you have a medium to deep skin tone, this would be a really beautiful nude on you. I got a little oopsie on the side there. I think I fixed it, but it's just a really pretty color. I really like this one. Um, it's just got that almost like borderline wine sort of a tone to it, but still it's a nude, still has that brownish quality to it. Really pretty. Number 48 is another one of my favorites because it is a beautiful, cool toned, kind of mauve chocolatey brown. I feel like this color is kind of unique, like especially in the drugstore, I just love the cool tone quality to it. So it's it's really like a mauve mixed with a chocolatey brown. Really gorgeous. All of these have been really nice and opaque, both in swatches and on my lips. Super impressed with them all, but this is one of my very favorites. And lastly, number 49. If there is a dud in the group, I would probably say it's this one, just because it's not as opaque first pass, but you can kind of build it up it really is a unique color though. So it has that going for it. So even in the bullet, 
it looks like a very like almost metallic-y purpley chocolate brown. Um, I don't feel like that comes out quite as much in the swatch or on my lips, but it does a little bit. So it is kind of like a slightly metallic-y purpley brown, which is really a cool, unique color. It just has to be built up a little bit. All right, guys, so that wraps up this lip swatch party. So yeah, I am super impressed with this collection. I love it. These are super affordable, retail for around five to six dollars. I found some of them at Walgreens and some of them at Walmart. So I highly recommend this collection. I love it. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what some of your favorite shades were that I showed. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!